Number 10, Too Thin. Lately over social media, primarily TikTok, fans have been expressing their concerns for Ariana's health, pointing out her very skinny frame as well as suggesting she doesn't even look like herself. In a recent TikTok video, many viewers commented saying, you look a lot like Ariana Grande, with many not even realizing that it is her. But others have come at the videos with a little bit more worry, fearing she's losing way too much weight. One fan commented, Ariana, are you okay? And another added, look how weird our Ari looks now. Now, oh my god. But after noticing all these comments, Ariana addressed the accusations that she isn't healthy in a recently uploaded video. She starts off the video by saying that she doesn't do this often and doesn't like doing it at all. But going on to tell her audience, I just want to address your concerns about my body. She goes on to say, I want to talk a little bit about what it means to be a person with a body and to be seen and to pay such close attention to. Ariana explains that we should all be a little bit more gentler and avoid commenting on others' bodies as well as working to towards being safer, as well as telling her fans that there are many different kinds of beauty. Her viewers love this graceful response to the comments and responded to her video by saying, You don't owe anyone this, but thank you for everything you said. Another fan added, We need more people to approach the world like Ariana. Thank you for this. Number 9, Asian Fishing Two years ago, Ariana found herself in some hot water after being accused of Asian fishing. After photos of the star were posted by the photographer Katia Temkin on Instagram, they began circulating on Twitter, sparking some very mixed reviews. In the photo, Ariana poses in a green oversized blazer with white bows tied on her neck, which is an outfit she has worn on The Voice. Viewers pointed out that her eyes seemed to have a completely different shape than in previous photos, leading people to believe that she was Asian fishing, which is when a non-Asian person starts to attempt to look Asian with their features, makeup, and clothing. One fan wrote, Ariana Grande really said, okay fine, I'm done pretending to be Hispanic, I'll pretend to be Asian this time. One Reddit user commented, "Very every celeb has had plastic surgery, but there's something about Ari's that doesn't sit right with me lately. They continued on by saying, the overzealous eyebrow lift in which she's actually changed the shape of her eyebrows from arch to straight, as is popular in East Asia. Someone that did come to her support was the influencer Ollie London, who is someone who identifies as a transracial Korean person after undergoing surgery to look like a K-pop star. They ended up praising Ariana's look, saying, so cute, welcome to the transracial club. Can we become the king and queen of Korea? Another Twitter user saw this as confirmation that Ariana was doing this on purpose and trying to become a different race. Number 8, Black Fishing Ariana is no stranger to controversy, especially when it comes to her appearing to change races. But she really seemed to spark outrage after being accused of black fishing after the release of her Seven Rings music video. Critics began coming for Ariana for her extremely dark spray tan, which many believe is a classic case of cultural appropriation. She has taken it so far to the point that some even began believing she was biracial. She has revealed in the past that her background is Italian, and if you see photos of her from before, many agree that she really does look like another race. After all the backlash she was receiving over her changing looks, it wasn't much of a surprise that she deactivated her account almost immediately after. It got even worse though during an MTV Awards in 2016 when Ariana and Nicki Minaj sang side to side, and viewers began to notice that Ariana was actually darker than Nicki. Definitely not going to help her case with that one. Number 7, Bolding Ariana has admitted that after years of acting and playing the character Kat Valentine, her hair was completely destroyed. She told the press at the time, I had to bleach my hair and dye it red every other week for the first four years of playing cat. Continuing on, she says, I wear extensions, but I wear it in a ponytail because my actual hair is so broken that it looks absolutely ratchet and absurd when I let it down. When talking about other alternatives, she revealed, I tried wigs, but they looked ridiculous. I tried a weave and I literally wanted to rip my scalp off. One of Ariana's stylists even claims that she's losing so much hair that her iconic ponytail is the only thing she can pull off now. An insider shared, her hair's a mess. What's left of it anyway? It's destroyed at the ends and the reason she scrapes it back into a high ponytail all the time is because it's kind of patchy on the top. Of course, as people began really talking about her hair and how it's held up over years of damaging it, she tweeted about it saying, 
It's difficult. I have to wear more fake hair than every drag queen on earth combined. Number six, the filler. During some promotional photos for The Voice, fans began believing maybe Ariana's going overboard with fillers. Instagram users started noticing that the star was beginning to look much more puffy, especially on her cheeks and her lips. Though she has never admitted to getting any fillers in the past, fans are finding the star nearly unrecognizable lately and believe fillers are partly something to do with it. A Botox expert has come forward on TikTok to share where they believe Ariana's fillers are located, if she does have any. Explaining how it's clear the star has a little bit of filler in her lips and Botox in her forehead in order to keep up with her flawless skin. After looking at photos, what do you guys think? Number 5. Hispanic Fishing Ariana Grande found herself under fire after a comment she made in an award show when she said, thank you so much for coming to my quinceanera. After this comment went viral, one Twitter user wrote, Ariana Grande joking about her quinceanera and people are loving it because she's darkened her skin so much that they actually think she is Latina. And it's disturbing. She continued by saying, she's a white woman in brown face holding an award she got over actual Latina women. Joking about quinceaneras. Another Twitter user wrote, I can't stand her and I can't wait until she stops being everywhere. She walks around every day with blatant brown face and she just gets away with it. It's the most bizarre thing. Number 4. Too Young Ariana has received backlash in the past for appearing to dress a little bit younger than she actually is, while also aiming to look sexy, which many fans don't love. On top of getting some hate for her outfit, she has also been receiving quite a bit of negativity for her body shape in general. The star has a slimmer build, which has been subject of body shaming for years. She posted a series of photos on her Instagram showing off a dress and the comments came in hot. One user claimed that she was built like a 12 year old, where others believed she was taking this look too far, with another user writing, why did you post this? More recently, she has been forced to limit comments on her Instagram due to the amount of negativity she has been receiving. Some fans have been coming to her defense, especially after noticing her limited comments. One fan wrote, Ariana limited her Instagram because a lot of people were body shaming. I hate you all so much. Another fan wrote, Ariana has never been more confident in her body than she is now. It's so sad to see that a lot of people are still body shaming her because she just has a natural petite body. Among this, there also came some speculation that the criticism of her body doesn't just affect her, but others who look similar. One Twitter user wrote, at the end of the day, Ariana probably isn't paying much attention to all the body shaming she's been getting. A lot of people paying attention are those who already suffer with their own body image. Other fans shared their belief that the drastic change in her look over the years could be partially due to her continuing to grieve the passing of Mac Miller. But regardless of the reason, she has confirmed to fans that she really is all good. But maybe turning off the comments for now is a good idea. Number 3. Plastic Surgery Many fans who have been watching Ariana through the years believe that her appearance really changed in front of their eyes. She has been faced with plastic surgery rumors since she first rose to fame, and fans continue to ask which procedures she's had done. The speculation really began when she started to look much different from her days on Nickelodeon. Fans question why her eyes were looking less rounded and expressive than ever before, believing that this type of change doesn't just come from aging alone. Not only the change with her eyes, but others claimed that her nose was a result of a nose job that she got back in December 2019. In a since deleted tweet, the star clapped back at the fan and wrote, this is my birth nose. What the F did I log into today? Let me have a cute nose. Fans got especially upset after seeing the star on the August 2019 Vogue cover, claiming that she looked nothing like her old self. One Twitter user wrote, no, sorry, this is not okay. Ari does not look like this at all. All I see is plastic surgery, and I don't even recognize her. Though she didn't address this specifically head on, she did say in an interview, I like having my funny character that I play and it feels like an exaggerated version of myself. It protects me. She continued on by saying, but I also love disrupting it for the sake of my fans and making it clear that I am a person, because that's something I enjoy fighting for. Though she has continued to deny these speculations, according to an Instagram page, My Beauty Consultant, it is believed that she has had a surgical brow lift, lip filler, cheek filler, chin filler, among other procedures. When looking at photos though, what do you guys think? Has she just grown up into her looks, or are these changes something only an operation could do? Number 2. Left Side Only There have been stories that have been circulating about Ariana's diva demands, but have you heard about non-negotiable left side only for photos? The star reportedly will walk out of a photo shoot after refusing to be photographed in natural light, stressing that she will only be photographed from her left side only. An insider shared to the media, it's like the president is in town. Everyone is kind of stressed, and at the same time they're making fun of her, because there's not much ado about nothing. Another source went on to claim, it was like you either get on the other side or we can't do the interview. Of course, having a good side is nothing new, but from the 
the sounds of it, she may just be a little bit too intense over this. And at number one, we have bleached brows. Another time Ariana left fans confused was when she bleached her eyebrows, leaving her unrecognizable to many. Ariana showed up for the Oscars event and ended up shocking some other attendees with her newly bleached eyebrows and her blonde hair. Though it appears she bleached them for her role in Wicked, some fans aren't loving it either way. One Twitter user wrote, don't get me wrong, I love Ariana with blonde hair and I get her bleaching her eyebrows for Wicked, but bleached brows aren't for everyone. Another user wrote, bleached eyebrows on Ariana look so bad, ew. One fan even suggested that this change could be a result of her looking so sickly. They wrote, the current look of bleached eyebrows and blonde hair make her look washed out and unwell. Take her back to her dark brows and hair and she will already look a lot better. At number 10, we have no wedding ring. Fans were shocked when it was reported that Ariana and Dalton were divorcing. Though some people did claim that they knew it was coming, given the fact that Ariana was seen at a recent tennis match without her diamond wedding ring. She was photographed in the crowd at the Wimbledon men's singles final on Sunday, sitting between Andrew Garfield and Jonathan Bailey. While she was reacting to moments from the match, she would often cover her mouth with her hand, and in that way, it was pretty obvious that she wasn't wearing her ring. It's possible that she had taken it off to get cleaned, but for such a high-profile event like this, that was less likely. So even though it was only rumors at that point, in this case, the absence of the wedding ring was really significant. Ariana and Dalton got engaged back in December of 2020, and she announced the happy news with an Instagram post showcasing her new rock with a super unique design. It was made up of a large oval diamond with a delicate pearl, and it looked very similar to another pearl ring that she was gifted by her grandma. So there might have been an added sentimental value there. As for the price, well, it was estimated to be worth a whopping $350,000. Number nine, living separate lives. Sources close to Ariana who know about the breakup said that the two of them have been separate since January. They began living separate lives until about May when they decided to take a shot at their relationship again. But sadly, that only lasted two weeks before they both threw in the towel. Apparently, Dalton visited Ariana on the set of the movie Wicked in London, which was a part of a last ditch attempt to save their marriage. But sadly, that didn't work out. It's also been reported that he has moved on from their marriage relatively quickly and has been dating over the past few months, which Ariana is completely fine with. In fact, they've been separated for so long that both of them were apparently shocked that no one picked up on it till today. Then TMZ broke the story that they had gone their separate ways and were headed for divorce. Thankfully, they've been able to stay friends, so there's no bad blood between them. Quote, they came to this decision together. They were having problems before January, but they wanted to remain best friends. It's been said that they've been really good friends throughout the entire process and their friends and families have been trying to protect them, most likely from going through all the messy divorce drama. Number eight, long distance. After news came out about their separation, a source spoke to People Magazine about the contributing factors behind their split, and one of the biggest ones seems to be long distance. As for now, Ariana has been away from home filming the Wicked adaptation in the UK, which means that she's been away for most of the year. And in this specific situation, it's been said that absence did not make the heart grow fonder. The source claimed that she was happy in LA for a couple of years, and she really wanted to make a life there with Dalton. This worked out well for a while, considering that he was super focused on his career as a luxury real estate agent. And for that, he needed to live in LA. But the demands of his career eventually became an issue for them because he was practically stuck in the city. Well, Ariana's work took her all over the world, and for months at a time. Apparently when she started filming Wicked in England, they were in for a long distance marriage, though it eventually got too hard and the relationship broke down. With all things considered, this is completely understandable because it can be difficult to maintain a connection with someone that you can't be physically present with. Number seven, can't handle the fame. It's been said that another contributing factor in their separation was the differences between them. According to reports, Ariana and Dalton couldn't make their marriage work after the pandemic because their lives were vastly different, and that only became more obvious over time. Sources said that when they first hooked up in 2020, they were everything to each other, company, romance, and support. But when the lockdown restrictions were lifted, their differences became alarmingly apparent. Dalton was taken aback by Ariana's celebrity status. He could not comprehend her busy schedule, the intrusive paparazzi, and the various opportunities that took her out of LA. It's been said that he would sometimes question why they needed to go around town with security, which was clearly the only option for someone as famous as Ariana. In the end, it was their differences in lifestyle that started to make the marriage unravel, and it was greatly exacerbated when she went to England last December to start filming Wicked. Unfortunately, this is a story that's all too familiar. Another high-profile relationship recently ended for a similar reason. This one was between Taylor Swift and Joe 
through Alwyn. It was said that he didn't like the limelight and that he struggled with her level of fame and the attention that she got from the public. So sometimes it can be too overwhelming for the partner that is not used to that kind of stardom. Number 6 Dalton Deactivating Instagram Back in March, rumors started swirling about the status of their marriage when Dalton deactivated his Instagram account. This happened after he received a flood of hate comments questioning his sexuality. For whatever reason, some fans decided to target him and claim that he was in fact gay. We don't know what these comments look like, but obviously they weren't made in a nice way. Most likely, it was both homophobic and intended to bully him. So it's possible that he was just sick of getting those comments and wanted to get off of social media for a while. This was all pretty upsetting setting given the fact that the couple have really tried to keep a low profile since they got married. Dalton does have his own Instagram account, but he said it's a private shortly after news of their relationship became public. His comments might have been the reason he deactivated his account, but apparently he didn't use Instagram regularly, so it could also mean that he just wanted to delete it for good. Unfortunately, we all know that social media is a cruel place, and in that way it couldn't have been easy for him to deal with negative attention online. When you are a public figure, you obviously get a lot more than a regular person, but someone who isn't used to that might have had their mental health impacted a bit more. Number 5 Breakup Rumors Over a year ago, Ariana posted a video doing her makeup while promoting her brand REM Beauty. But it wasn't the makeup that caught everyone's attention, it was the fact that she wasn't wearing her wedding ring. If she didn't address it, fans would most likely jump to conclusions and assume that something was going on. Thankfully she did, because she already knew what the internet would say when they didn't spot her ring. She said, I'm just not wearing my ring, it's getting cleaned. I'm not getting a divorce, so before you start, don't. So she pretty much made it very clear that she was shutting that idea down. Obviously, she has been in the spotlight long enough to know that even the smallest thing can cause a panic online. Though it is telling that she felt the need to even address the speculation. Because there is always a lot of misogyny going around at times like this, where people are quick to blame women anytime a relationship ends. In response to the divorce news, someone tweeted, Ariana Grande lost 100k followers on IG following yesterday's rumors. Once again, we have proof that our world is misogynistic and that we always blame women. In, which is a very sad reflection of where we are as a society. At number 4, not a good fit. For the stability of a long-term relationship, it's been said that you need two things, chemistry and compatibility, and the latter is always more important in long term. Sadly, it seems like that just wasn't the case for Ariana and Dalton, which is not necessarily anyone's fault. An inside source spoke to Entertainment Tonight and explained that they just weren't a good fit from the start. Quote, Ariana and Dalton tried to make things work, but ultimately they just weren't a good fit. Dalton has been very private and low-key about their relationship with his work colleagues and hasn't been talking a lot about their split. Another insider said, Ariana and Dalton's friends have always been concerned by their whirlwind romance and felt their relationship would ultimately be short-lived. Their relationship has been rocky at different points and they've had trouble making time for each other with scheduling issues. Before Dalton, Ariana also famously dated and got engaged to SNL's Pete Davidson, which lasted just a few months. But in many ways, they suited each other very well because they were both so used to the limelight. Their relationship was very public and it was one of the most talked about of the year. Of course, that doesn't make it any better than a private one, but it goes to show you that they were very comfortable being seen out together. Number 3 Controversies Though they've managed to keep a relatively low profile since they got together, there was a moment in 2021 which earned Ariana and Dalton a ton of backlash. In June that year, a video of them resurfaced online, which was then shared by various Twitter accounts. A black and white clip showed the two of them with a few of their friends, and they appeared to be participating in a mockery of Native American dance. While sitting at the center of a circle, Ariana was seen to be singing, laughing and spinning a big piece of cloth around in the air. Other people in the video were said to be making drumming sounds. They also appeared to be attempting to summon a spirit. So it's no surprise that this was deemed offensive because it seems as though they were making fun of the culture. Soon after it was posted, Ariana deleted the video because she started receiving many negative comments about it. It's possible that fans interpreted this to be something different than what it actually was, but it's also easy to see why it was so upsetting. This incident was part of the reason why some people started to turn against them, which is why Dalton was not particularly popular with fans. Number 2 Pete Davidson's comments Ariana's ex seemingly put her on blast months after their relationship ended, which some fans took as an outright personal attack. The two of them publicly revealed that they were in a relationship at the end of May of 2018. Things then moved very quickly, and they ended up getting engaged just a few weeks after their relationship started. The whole thing became something of an internet meme, and it really cemented Pete's image as a ladies' man. Several 
tweets that Ariana made about him created the infamous phrase Big D Energy, which Pete quickly became the face of. But just as swiftly as things started, they rapidly came to an end. Shockingly, the pop star went on to describe their romance as an amazing distraction when speaking to Vogue magazine. In response, Pete slammed her on stage during a stand-up performance, when he said, Can you imagine if I did that? My career would be over tomorrow if I spray painted myself brown and hopped on the cover of Vogue magazine and just started hating on my ex. Can you imagine? So obviously he took those comments somewhat to heart. And coming in at number one, the fan reaction. News of Ariana's divorce has been getting quite a lot of attention recently, which is pretty much as expected. But what's really interesting is how people feel about Dalton now, because he's the one that seems to be getting most of the criticism. One person tweeted, the Dalton boy dated, proposed and married Ariana Grande, knowing very well she's Ariana Grande, then gets shocked when she's followed by security everywhere? Has he seen how her fans behave? Boy, you should have dated Normani if you wanted a normal private life. In response, another person wrote, the same problem was at first with Miley and Liam. Girls are just too big to date someone that basic. Another fan tweeted, what is it with these Z-listers getting into relationships with A-listers and then hating on how famous they are? Like, did you not know how famous she was before? There were even people that blamed Dalton for stealing Ariana Grande away from her fans. They also said that these differences in their lifestyles were bound to come out when someone famous marries someone who isn't, while others expressed how pathetic it is that there are insecure, unsupportive men getting into relationships with incredible women, just to bring them down. How's it going, Io? In this video, we're going to get into the Ariana Grande and Dalton Gomez divorce rumors, Kylie Jenner forgiving Jordan Woods, and BB Rexa getting body shamed by her own boyfriend. So it looks like this is really it for Ariana Grande and Dalton Gomez. Page Six has reported that the two of them are going to be divorcing. Sources close to the star said that they have been separated since January, but they've been able to stay friends so there's no bad blood between them. Quote, they came to the decision together. They were having problems before January, but they wanted to remain best friends. Apparently, Dalton visited Ariana on the set of the movie Wicked in London, which was part of a last ditch attempt to save their marriage. But sadly, that didn't work out. It's been said that they've been really good friends throughout the entire process and that their friends and families have been trying to protect them, most likely from going through all the messy divorce drama. The speculation started over the weekend when Ariana was spotted at a tennis match without her diamond ring. She was photographed in the crowd at the Wimbledon men's singles final on Sunday, sitting between Andrew Garfield and Jonathan Bailey. She looked great with her honey blonde hair from the upcoming movie Wicked, and she was seen getting really into the match, reacting to moments by covering her mouth with her right hand. But of course, most people were focused on her left hand at the absence of her wedding ring. Some people speculated that there could have been a simple explanation. Maybe it was getting serviced or cleaned, or maybe even upgraded. Either way, it seems like everyone was wondering what was really going on, and whether or not that was a sign of some kind of trouble in their relationship. On Twitter, someone wrote, I'm sorry, I'm not really trying to start anything. I just want to know, anyone else noticed the ring finger has no ring? Another person wrote, anyone else noticed Ariana Grande hasn't been wearing her wedding ring. This latest speculation comes several months after there were rumors going around that the two of them were nearing a breakup. What happened was Dalton deactivated his Instagram account after comments were made questioning his sexuality. For whatever reason, some fans decided to target him and claim that he was in fact gay. We don't know what these comments look like, but obviously they weren't made in a nice way. Most likely it was both homophobic and intended to bully him. So it's possible that he was just sick and tired of getting these kind of comments and wanted to get off social media for a while. This is all pretty upsetting though, given the fact that the couple have really tried to keep a low profile since they got married. Dalton does have his own Instagram account, but he set it to private shortly after news of their relationship became public. But what's really interesting is that this wasn't even the first round of divorce rumors. One year prior, Ariana posted a video doing her makeup while promoting her brand REM Beauty. But it wasn't the makeup that caught everyone's attention, it was the fact that she wasn't wearing her wedding ring. If she didn't address it, fans would most likely jump to all kinds of conclusions and assume that something was going on. Thankfully, she did because she already knew exactly what the internet would say when they didn't spot her wedding ring. She said, I'm just not wearing my ring. It's getting cleaned. I'm not getting a divorce, so before you start, don't. Basically, she shut that idea down completely. Obviously, she's been in the spotlight long enough to know that even the smallest thing can cause a panic online. So it makes sense that the two of them are very adamant about privacy and keeping their life off of social media. Nearly two years after breaking off her engagement with Pete Davidson, Ariana was spotted kissing a mystery man out in LA, who was later confirmed to be Dalton. 
The couple began dating in January of 2020 and spent a lot of time together at Ariana's home in New York City. In December, after almost a year of dating, Ariana announced their engagement on Instagram. She posted photos of them along with shots of her engagement ring and in the caption she wrote forever and then some. Several months later, in May of 2021, the couple tied the knot in a small ceremony at their home. Apparently there were less than 20 guests and the nuptials were informal. There was no real ceremony, it was just a casual exchange of vows. Ariana later shared photos from their wedding on Instagram. At the time, an inside source spoke to People magazine and said they're a great fit together. Dalton's entirely unfazed by the scope of her celebrity and it's very grounding for her. He's young but mature and knows what he wants out of life. So they really seem to be great together which makes it all the more upsetting that they're now separating. Alright so we are well and truly in the era of people being exposed online. Bibi Rexa just leaked text messages of her boyfriend body shaming her. She posted a screenshot of a message that was sent to her by her partner Kian Safari where he basically calls her out for gaining weight. He wrote, hey I never said you weren't beautiful. I never said I didn't love you. The fact that I said how beautiful you are and how much I love you. But I always said I would be honest with you and your face was changing so I told you it was. That was the conversation we were having and you asked because I care would you rather that I lied to you. You gained 35 pounds. Obviously you gained weight and your face changes. Should I just pretend that it didn't happen and that it's okay? He goes on to say that she has joked about him gaining three pounds before and that it doesn't mean that she doesn't love him. He said if you're trying to find reasons to break up this makes sense but it's not the real reason. If you're unhappy with me slash yourself slash with life and don't see a future with us then that's okay and that's the reason. Don't use something like that to weaponize your anger or anxiety or any insecurity that you may have. At the end of the message Kian insists that he always found her to be beautiful and loved her no matter what. He also suggests that she have a deeper think about their relationship and maybe even speak to a couple's therapist. Not everyone is happy about the fact that Bibi chose to post these messages online but it's pretty clear just from that decision that she has well and truly broken up with him. If anything she might be trying to draw attention to the issue of body shaming and how women especially tend to get it from every facet of society because they're just held to a different standard. In this case she's getting it from her own partner, likely disguised as some kind of health concern. You could argue that he went about it in the right way and said that she was still beautiful, though it is uncalled for because as we have seen before, Bibi is well aware of her own weight. This isn't even the first time she's dealt with body shaming. She's been facing a whiplash of unwarranted online hate recently. In response to growing criticism about her weight, she took to Twitter and wrote, I know I got fat. I'm just so sick of people talking about it. Next. She addressed the rude discourse and lack of privacy around her appearance, saying human beings go through weight fluctuations in life and you don't know what people are going through. Meds, disease, etc. She ended her statements positively and gave a shout out to all the people who have been supporting her and showing her love. So hopefully that puts a stop to all this endless chatter about her body because it's really no one's business in the first place. And now it looks like Kylie Jenner has finally forgiven Jordan Woods. The two of them were spotted out to dinner with friends in an LA sushi restaurant over the weekend. It marked the first time in more than four years that Kylie was seen in public with her former best friend since Jordan was effectively banished from the Kardashian family after everything that went down with Tristan Thompson. Photos of Kylie and Jordan on their dinner outing were posted online and a few hours earlier Jordan posted a mirror selfie on Instagram wearing the exact same outfit that she wore while she was out with Kylie. So a red, orange and purple dress from her own clothing line along with a gold choker. The reason this is such a big deal is because their friendship was torn apart by one of the biggest scandals to rock the Kardashian family. In February of 2019, it was reported that Tristan Thompson had cheated on Chloe with Jordan at a house party. Chloe then broke up with him when the allegations came out, which he heavily denied was the truth. The following March, Jordan told her side of the story on Jada Pinkett Smith's talk show Red Table Talk. She said that she didn't sleep with Tristan, but admitted that he did kiss her on the lips. She said that she was drunk the entire time and later apologized to Chloe about the encounter, but she also didn't take any responsibility for their breakup. Jordan said, I know I'm not the reason that Tristan and Chloe are not together. Now this situation may have made it harder for her to want to be with him and I understand that, but I know I'm not the reason. In response, Chloe then took to Twitter to express her outrage at the interview. She tagged Jordan and wrote, why are you lying? If you're going to try and save yourself by going public instead of calling me privately to apologize first, at least be honest about your story. By the way, you are the reason my family broke up. So you can pretty much imagine how that tweet escalated the already existing drama. For months on end, people were picking sides between the two women. Some accused Jordan of being a homewrecker and said that she was clearly in the wrong, especially because she had been such a close friend of the family for all these years. On the other hand, Chloe was getting a fair amount of backlash too, considering that when she started dating Tristan, he had already gotten his ex-girlfriend pregnant and that was a whole situation that made Chloe look like the other woman. Later in 2019, Kylie unfortunately 
followed Jordan on Instagram, and the cheating scandal was depicted on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. On the show, Chloe opened up about his cheating tendencies and said, Tristan, we've all known what he's capable of. Look what he did when I was nine months pregnant, but I knew who he was. I never in a million years thought that's who she was. Kylie said on the show that when she called Jordan to ask about the incident, her friend didn't really say anything. She was just crying the whole time. In response, Kylie said, you could do whatever, but when it affects my family, me, then that's when it's a problem. Fast forward to June of 2021 when Chloe spoke to Andy Cohen about the whole situation. She insisted that she doesn't have any grudges against Jordan and that people make mistakes, basically forgiving her for what happened. Around the same time Chloe and Tristan got back together, they hired a surrogate to carry and give birth to their son. There was a few months of peace until December when his ex Marley Nichols filed a paternity suit against him, which revealed that he had cheated on Chloe with her earlier that year. That month she gave birth to their son Theo. Weeks later, after a DNA test confirmed that he is a child's father, Tristan apologized to Chloe on Instagram. He issued a lengthy public statement saying, Chloe, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve the heartache and humiliation I have caused you. You don't deserve the way I have treated you over the years. I'm so incredibly sorry. This surrogate gave birth to a baby boy on August the 5th, and an insider told Hollywood Live that she would have full custody over their son. Quote, Chloe and Tristan have agreed that Chloe will have so legal and physical custody of their baby full time. And for the first time ever, she opened up about all the trauma that she's gone through as a result of Tristan's infidelity and deceit. She said, I was definitely very angry and I think I was feeling bamboozled. All I know is I was being encouraged to implant the embryo by a certain date. In hindsight, he always knew when the other baby was being born. Sources close to the star insisted that there is no place in her mind that wants to take Tristan back and she is really done with him romantically. Which makes perfect sense, Chloe is clearly opting to focus on her young family instead of worrying about what her ex is up to. Ariana Grande has had to address a wave of body shaming on TikTok. Nick Cannon came under fire for his creepy comments about Taylor Swift. And fans are hating on Millie Bobby Brown's engagement. First up, Ariana Grande has hit back at people who've been body shaming her for her most recent appearance. We know that she's been working on the upcoming film adaptation of Wicked the Musical, where she will be playing Glinda the Good Witch. So that's why she's mostly stayed out of the spotlight in the last couple of months. But when new photos of her surfaced online, people couldn't help but comment on how different she looks. For her role as Glinda, she's dyed her trademark brown hair a honey blonde, along with her eyebrows. But that wasn't the only difference. In these new photos, Ariana also looks noticeably thinner, and that sparked a wave of health concerns across social media. Of course, this was just another way for people to criticize her under the guise of being worried about her weight. Under her recent posts, they wrote things like, get well soon, and why why does she look sick? Some even speculated that she's had some kind of cosmetic procedure done like buckle fat removal or she's been taking medications like Ozempic, which we all know is really popular with celebrities right now. But the fact is that Ariana has been noticing all of these unsolicited comments about her body. She's actually read a lot of them and it's really affected her mental health. That's why she chose to come on TikTok and address the ridiculous criticism that she's been getting about her body. She explained that there are many different ways to look healthy and beautiful and the body that people are comparing her current body to was the unhealthiest version of her. Quote, I was on antidepressants and drinking on them and eating poorly and at the lowest point in my life when I looked the way that you consider my healthiest. But that in fact wasn't my health. While Ariana acknowledges that she shouldn't have to even address her health issues, she thinks that something good might come from being open and vulnerable about it. She said, the second thing is you never know what someone is going through. So even if you're coming from a loving place or a caring place, that person probably is working on it or has a support system that they're working on it with. You never know, so be gentle with each other and yourselves. She asserts that everyone should be gentler and less comfortable commenting on people's bodies, no matter what. Because even if you think you're saying something good or well-intentioned, it's just not a good idea. And we should all be working towards not doing that as much. Also, if you're going to do it, there are some ways to compliment someone or ignore something if you don't like it. So you should really be thinking about the person you're criticizing sizing before you say the first thing that pops into your head. At the end of the video, Ariana had some kind words for her fans. She said, sending you guys a lot of love and I think you're beautiful no matter what you're going through, no matter what we weigh, no matter what you like to do with your makeup these days, no matter what cosmetic procedures you've had. And I think you're beautiful and I just wanted to share some feelings. The response to her video has been overwhelmingly positive and fans flooded the comment section with messages of support and praise for speaking up. Many of them pointed out that this would have never happened if Ariana was a guy. Because so much of this body shaming is 
tied to sexism and double standards for women in the industry. There are also comparisons of what's been happening to Selena Gomez recently. One person on Twitter posted their videos side by side and wrote, Selena Gomez and Ariana Grande shouldn't have to go on a public platform to explain their weight gain slash weight loss because of abhorrent criticism. It's nasty, cruel and unfair, especially today. Unfortunately, Selena has been receiving a lot of criticism for her weight recently and it got so bad that she had to go on TikTok live to address it. She explained that when she's on her lupus medication, she tends to hold in a lot of water weight. At one point she had to pause during the video and she started crying, saying that she's not a model and she never will be. That entire clip was extremely heartbreaking and it's just so frustrating that she even felt like she had to defend her appearance in the first place. This just goes to show you that even the most famous celebrities actually read the things that are written about them. Some people try to use their status against them and say that they should get used to it because they're public figures, because it's just a part of the lifestyle they signed up for. But that's just such a messed up way to look at it. Not to mention that this kind of stuff has been following female celebrities for years. It doesn't matter how old they are, as soon as they're in the spotlight, everyone thinks it's fair game to scrutinize their appearance. Back in 2015, there was an infamous viral tweet comparing Ariel Winter's body to Ariana Grande's. They were only 17 and 22 at the time, but they were already being labeled with words like curves and sticks. People in the comment section were pitting them against each other and arguing about which body type they preferred. Ariana actually responded to the post and called out the misogyny behind it. She explained that we need to stop talking about people's bodies as if they're on display and needing your approval. So she's always been saying the same thing and it's just time that people actually start to listen. Couldn't we have just stayed at home for a few more weeks like all the other countries that were fine and are better than we are. Ariana Grande just released her album Positions and while she was on the Zach Sang show talking about the new album, she made a point to call out the TikTokers who have been partying during the pandemic, making it clear that she is not here for it. Hey what's up everyone, it's Mackenzie here and today we are going to be talking about Ariana Grande being shady. Before we do that, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new here and want to see more. So Ariana was just on the Zack Sang show and right off the bat, Zack asked her if Ariana is going to be celebrating Halloween this year because he knows that it's one of her favorite holidays. After this, Ariana goes on a long rant, talking about how Halloween is her favorite time and she usually goes to the haunted houses so much the actors start to expect her. Then she gets into the shade asking why this had to hit again now, saying quote, of all the things that we could have done, couldn't we have just stayed home for a few more weeks like all the other countries that were fine and are better than we are? Did we really all need to go to Saddle Ranch that badly that we couldn't have waited for the deathly pandemic to pass? Then going in on Saddle Ranch further, adding, quote, we all really needed to put on our cowgirl boots and ride a mechanical bull that bad. <laughs> She added, we all needed that Instagram post that badly. And before we get any further, give this video a like if you're liking it so far. And if you didn't already know, Saddle Ranch has become the new LA hotspot during the pandemic. And since there's so much outdoor seating, tons of people are able to be there at the same time. So this has caused influencers to go in droves, bringing their friends along too. And since paparazzi noticed that that's where they're all going, paparazzi have now started to wait at Saddle Ranch for people to interview. And it's become such a phenomenon, Emma Chamberlain even made a whole podcast episode talking about the new hotspot. Some regulars at Saddle Ranch are the Demelio sisters, Addison Ray, Bryce Hall and the other Sway House members, and even Jake Paul, Tana Mojo, and Nikita Dragon. So clearly Ariana is calling out some of these names in particular. And after these comments went viral, LA paparazzi started asking TikTokers to react to Ariana's comments. When one paparazzi asked Dixie D'Amelio, she said, quote, I don't really know what to think. But then she quickly changed her tune saying, I mean, she's right. She's right, yeah, she's a queen, I love her. Then Addison Rae said that Ariana's comments were fair, adding, quote, I think it's understandable. I definitely have not been going. I just have been trying to stay in and work out. I've been working out a lot and also preparing for my movie. But her boyfriend Bryce Hall was with her, who we know has been throwing and attending parties, so the answer was like a little uh, hypocritical, especially since she has been seen out at Saddle Ranch multiple times. So really that's all for the story today and really the only note I think we can leave this on is that Ariana is queen and we didn't really need another reason to love her but you know, she gave us one anyway. Let me know your thoughts on this below. Do you think celebrities calling them out is going to be like changing much? Or since they aren't actually breaking the law by going to Saddle Ranch, is this really even not that big of a deal? Let me know. But before I head out, I'm going to shout out some comments from my video on Justin Bieber's past. So Teddy said, I really hope Justin's future doesn't end up like Britney's current situation. He's one of the most recent pop stars that blew up in a media frenzy. I gotta pray for the kid. He says he's over his dark past, but you never know. 
Yeah, I, I'm hoping that, um, I feel like he hit his low a lot sooner than Britney did, so hopefully that means he'll be okay kind of for the rest of his life. Whereas Britney had such a big career for so long and was involved in a lot of crap before she kind of had to come down and have her break down. So um, yeah, I'm hoping he has better people around him. It already kind of seems like he does have better people around him than Britney, so yeah, I'm hoping he'll be better off. Then Eleanor said, this makes sense because when you look at how protective he is on Billy, you can see it comes from personal experiences. Yeah, he's been really vocal about Billy wanting to protect her. I remember I saw this clip going viral that like he was literally tearing up talking about her and how he hopes that her talent and all that won't go away with the fame and how she'll stay true to herself hopefully. So yeah, he really is trying to help the younger generation. He even said that in his documentary actually. Then Entitled Potato said, this honestly makes me see him differently. At first I thought he was just rude, but now I understand how fame affected him. That's heartbreaking. I'm glad he's in a better place. Yeah, me too. It's really good to see he's in a better place and agreed when he was first starting out, I was like, why is this kid squandering this amazing blessing he's been giving? Why can't he just calm down and like be normal, just focus on the music, whatever. But when you've never had a childhood and you've never had like the ability to make mistakes and just like, you know, have fun then that really affects you later on. Ariana Grande sparked some backlash online after posting and then deleting some photos that many are calling Asian fishing. Although the Ariana Grande fans are out in force to fight this controversy off. The singer posted some photos of herself wearing an oversized jacket, but some angry people on the internet called her out for doing her makeup to appear more Asian. One person writes, okay, but Ariana Grande gave up black fishing and now she's trying out Asian fishing. We not about lie and say she's not, love her music, but girly going straight to hell. With another adding, Stop saying Ariana trying to be Asian or she's Asian fishing. Even if you mean to respect Asian culture, what you're doing is clearly based on a bias that Asian people have those eyes. Have you ever seen a single Asian person in real life? Please. According to the people that had an issue with this photo, Ariana had an overzealous eyebrow lift in which she's actually changed the shape of her eyebrows from arched to straight, which is popular in East Asia. The user also accused Ariana Grande of attempting to showcase a monolid look, adding, we know Ari studies Japanese and has an interest in Japanese culture based on her spirited away tattoo, her incorrect Japanese tattoo, and her defense of the tattoo that followed shortly after, explaining how much she loves Japanese culture. They also went on to bring up her past of being accused of blackfishing. This happened when she was called out for using certain words, an accent, using rap and hip hop in her music, and overzealous tanning, of course. It's definitely easy to cherry pick these certain images and call her out for this, but do you genuinely think that she would want to do something like that? To me, it seems more like hypersensitive people on the internet reacting to a massive celebrity any way that they can. One user posted a bunch of side-by-side -side images of Ariana's eyes to prove their point, and all this really shows me is that the internet has far too much time on their hands. In response, another user wrote, I'm Asian and I can point out Asian fishing when I see one. Ariana isn't Asian fishing, because clearly y'all never heard of the flash from the camera and that skin can go pale in the winter. And upon looking into this alleged outrage that was being reported by a bunch of different media outlets, the supporters were much louder than her critics. Usually when people are calling someone out on the internet, they want something to be done about it. They want something taken away. They want a cancellation to happen. However, this time there were just a few accounts that were getting sassy about a photo and then it was the Ariana Grande fan base that turned up the heat. I really don't think that it would have been this widely covered if her fans didn't react this much to their favorite singer being accused of Asian fishing. Are Ariana Grande and Dalton Gomez going to break up? Why was Britney Spears seen without her ring? And what has Travis Scott done done in Japan to humiliate himself? I'm gonna answer all these questions in this video, so stick with me. First up, why are there breakup rumors going around about Ariana Grande and Dalton Gomez? Let's get into it. Over the weekend, Dalton reportedly deactivated his Instagram account after comments were made questioning his sexuality. For whatever reason, some fans decided to target him and accuse him of being gay. We don't know what these comments looked like exactly, but obviously they weren't made in a nice way. It was most likely intended to bully him. So it's possible that he was sick of getting these kind of remarks and just wanted to get off of social media. As for his possible breakup with Ariana, so far that's still just speculation. This is all pretty upsetting given the fact that the couple have really tried to keep a low profile ever since they got married. Dalton does have his own Instagram account, but he set it to private shortly after news of their relationship became public. Now, these comments might not be the reason he deactivated his account, but apparently he did not use Instagram on the regular, so it could also mean that he just wanted to delete it 
it for good. But what's really interesting is that this is not even the first time there's been divorce rumors. Last August, Ariana posted a video doing her makeup while she was promoting her brand REM Beauty. But it wasn't the makeup that caught everyone's attention. It was the fact that she wasn't wearing her wedding ring. If she didn't address it, fans would most likely jump to conclusions and assume that something was going on behind the scenes. Thankfully, she did because she already knew exactly what everyone would say when they didn't spot her ring. She said, I'm just not wearing my ring. It's getting clean. I'm not getting a divorce, so before you start, don't. So she made it very clear that she was shutting that idea down. Obviously, she's been in the spotlight long enough to know that even the smallest thing can cause a massive panic online. But is there something about Dalton that fans don't seem to like? I mean, why does it seem like people are jumping at the possibility of them breaking up? Although they've managed to keep a relatively low profile since they got together, there was a moment in 2021 which earned them a ton of backlash. In June that year, a video of Ariana and Dalton resurfaced online, which was then shared by various Twitter accounts. A black and white clip showed the two of them with a few of their friends, and they appeared to be participating in a mockery of Native American dance. In the video, you can see Ariana sitting at the center of the circle. She was then seen to be singing, laughing, and spinning a big piece of cloth around in the air. The other people in the group were said to be making drumming sounds. Apparently, it seemed like they were trying to summon a spirit. So it's no surprise that this was deemed offensive because it kind of seemed like they were making fun of the culture. Soon after it was posted, Ariana deleted the video because she started to receive too many negative comments. It's possible that fans interpreted this to be something way different than what was actually happening, but it's also easy to see why it was so upsetting. Aside from that, there hasn't really been many controversial moments in their relationship, and that's probably because the two of them are very adamant about privacy and keeping their life off of social media. Dalton might not be as well known as her previous boyfriends like Pete Davidson or Big Sean, but that doesn't mean he makes her any less happy. The fans seemed to be over the moon when it was revealed that they were dating. Nearly two years after breaking off her engagement with Pete, Ariana was spotted kissing a mystery man in LA, who was later confirmed to be Dalton. The couple began dating in January of 2020 and spent a lot of time together at Ariana's home in New York City. When the pandemic hit in March, she followed him back to LA because he had to return there for work. An inside source at the time said, she realized he is very special. It was getting very tricky for them to see each other, so she decided to take her chance. She purchased a house in the Hollywood Hills in June and never looked back. They are incredibly happy. In May that year, Dalton appeared in the music video for Ariana and Justin Bieber's song Stuck With You. They were seen to be hugging and dancing together. Then in December of 2020, after almost one year of dating, Ariana announced her engagement on Instagram. She posted a photo of them together along with shots of their engagement ring. In the caption, she wrote, forever and then some. Several months later, in May of 2021, the couple tied the knot in a very small ceremony at their home. Apparently there were less than 20 guests there and the nuptials were informal. There was no real ceremony, just a casual exchange of vows. Ariana later shared photos from their wedding on Instagram. You could see her wearing a beautiful Vera Wang dress for her nuptials. At the time, an inside source spoke to People magazine and said they're a great fit together. Dalton's entirely unfazed by the scope of her celebrity and is very grounding for her. He's young but mature and knows what he wants out of life, which certainly seems to be the case because unlike her famous exes, he's not an entertainer, but that doesn't mean he isn't super successful on his own. Dalton is a luxury real estate agent. He works as a director of the estates division for Aaron Komen Group. We know that he works with A-list clients and has seven years of experience in the market. That's actually how he met Ariana, because she was looking to buy a house in LA and he was her realtor, which sounds like it would make for a great story. After all, I'm sure most celebrities still want to be able to meet someone in person, like we all do. To this day, the couple seem to be very happy happy together, and there's no real reason to believe that they're going to separate anytime soon. But Ariana and Dalton aren't the only couple that people think have separated. There's now speculation that Britney Spears and her husband Sam Asghari have decided to take a break. There was a bit more evidence for this one because both of them were seen without their rings, and Britney was spotted hanging out with an unidentified man in Puerto Rico over the weekend. She was photographed at Starbucks in the beachside town of Dorado, wearing a black off-the-shoulder dress. Both of them were standing next to each other while looking at the menu and they were acting pretty casual. The man was later confirmed to be a member of her security staff. As for Sam, he brushed off speculation that their marriage was in trouble. His rep explained that the two of them are not experiencing marital issues, despite the fact that they are both ditching their wedding bands. He claimed that his client has just taken off the ring because he was filming a movie at the time. While it's unclear what movie he's filming, he did announce in November but that he landed a role in a television series called Lioness. He shared a photo outside what appears to be a film 
set on his Instagram story, as well as a selfie on a plane with his wedding ring on display. This is likely the reason that he didn't join Britney on vacation, because he was just busy working. Meanwhile, Britney seemed to be living it up in Mexico with her manager and longtime friend Kate Hudson. They posted several photos on the beach together and even a video where they were grinding on each other and getting very close. But that's absolutely nothing to worry about because the two of them have been best friends for decades. Kate has always been a really private person on social media, but we do know that he's been in Britney's inner circle for years. Back in 2014, he was seen giving her a kiss on the cheek. In 2015, they were photographed dancing together. And in 2017, she was spotted at his birthday party. He started working as her manager after her former manager, Larry Rudolph, quit. This would have been a major deal considering that he had worked with her for 25 years. He released a statement at the time saying, I was originally hired at Britney's request to help manage and assist her with her career. And as her manager, I believe it is in Britney's best interest for me to resign from her team as my professional services are no longer needed. I wish Britney all the health and happiness in the world and I'll be there for her if she ever needs me again, just as I always have been. Because he quit the exact same year that her conservatorship ended, the timing seemed to be a little strange and fans were pretty shocked at his decision. But it was most likely just about his plans to retire rather than anything more scandalous. The following year, Britney and Sam tied the knot in a star-studded wedding at her mansion in California. Although most fans were very happy for her, others kept pushing the idea that her husband was somehow controlling her. This is something that Sam has had to continually deny. Back in December, he responded to a comment which accused him of controlling her social media accounts. He said, no, I don't even control what we have for dinner. Before he proposed in September of 2021, the actor opened up about the beginning of their relationship and how he sees their future together. He spoke to Forbes in March and said, my priorities in life are to remain humble and understand where I came from and where I'm going. I want to take my career to the next step when it comes to acting. I want to take my relationship to the next step as well. I don't mind becoming a father. I want to be a young dad. Although they seemed to have a very solid relationship when they started thinking about marriage, unfortunately, the wedding was not without its hiccups. And that's kind of an understatement. Britney's ex-husband, Jason Alexander, gate crashed her wedding by showing up at her house and trying to stop it. The two of them were married for 55 hours in 2004. And as you could have probably guessed, it wasn't very well thought out. They were both really young, very drunk, and decided to get married in Las Vegas after spending several days partying together. Then they got the marriage annulled after they both sobered up. So everyone was shocked that almost 20 years later, Jason came back into Britney's life only to try and ruin her wedding. He was obviously looking to get a bit of publicity out of it as well because he filmed the whole thing on Instagram Live. What's really crazy is that he actually managed to break into her home before he got arrested for trespassing and was taken away by security. More than anything, this incident was really upsetting considering that it happened around the same time that Britney's conservatorship came to an end. The singer was trying to start a new life and celebrate her freedom. So it's really sad that she couldn't even have a drama free wedding. Okay, moving on, let's talk about the viral video that's been going around of the moment that Travis Scott realizes he's not very big in Japan. The rapper was filmed on a crowded street in Tokyo. At first, he was covering his face with a hoodie so no one would know that it was him. The whole thing was very dramatic because Travis was obviously trying to have some kind of a big reveal. He then takes off his hoodie and seems to walk around looking confused that no one actually recognizes him. It was extremely awkward to watch because he was clearly expecting some kind of big reaction from the crowd only to realize that no one really knew who he was or paid him that much attention. He was literally ignored by every single pedestrian. If anything, they were just trying to get from point A to point B and he was interrupting the flow of the crowd. At one point, he tried to laugh it off and then walk back to his group. Unfortunately, that uncomfortable moment was posted on Twitter. Now it seems like everyone was making fun of him. The video now has around 11.5 million views and a ton of comments pointing out his mistake. They also pointed out the fact that the reveal would have worked better for bigger stars like Nicki Minaj or Beyonce, but there was just no way that Travis was going to get the same results. In fact, that video got so much attention, mostly because of how funny it was. There's now a thread on Reddit dedicated to figuring out why no one seemed to recognize Travis Scott. People wrote things like, why are American rappers surprised by the fact that no one knows who they are overseas? And I'm in the US and I still have no clue who this even is. It's interesting to see that his fame and notoriety doesn't necessarily translate in Japan. In the US, he's known as a success 
successful rapper who sold heaps of records, dated and had two children with Kylie Jenner. Not only that, but he was also directly involved and some would even say responsible for the horrific tragedy that was Astro World in 2021. The event which resulted in the death of 10 people has become synonymous with Travis's name. I could just never imagine the severity of the situation, but no matter what excuse he had, at the end of the day, there was nothing that could bring back the lives of those 10 people. He is still being criticized for the events of that day. Ariana Grande is being body shamed on Twitter after a recent picture surfaced where people claimed that she gained weight. Her body is now one of the biggest trending hashtags on Twitter, filled with comments of people calling her fat. I've got all the details on this horrible story right now on IO. Thanks for coming back to Inform Overload. We give you guys the news and we try to make it fun. Say hi to the IO team on social media. All of our links are down below. And we are also going to link one of our newest channels, so make sure you guys go check it out. It is called Top 10 Central. It's a funny reaction channel filled with basically funny videos, TikToks, memes, everything you're laughing at anyways. Plus, you get to see hosts from all of our channels. Some from Most Amazing Top 10, some from IO, some from Beyond the Screen. So make sure you guys go check it out over there. But for now, I've got a more serious topic to cover. Let's get back to this body shaming scandal. A recent behind the scenes photo of Ariana has leaked and people are accusing her of gaining weight during quarantine. If you were on Twitter this weekend, you would have seen that Ariana Grande fact was an auto suggestion when you searched her name. Earlier this year, she was actually body shamed for being too thin and now the case is reversed. Why people think they have the right to comment on anyone's body shape is beyond me, let alone make it a worldwide hashtag. This is the picture that everyone was commenting on. In the picture, it looks like she's just chatting with a coordinator from a show, but people were busy pointing out her so-called belly bulge. People on Twitter said that her belly pops out and that she looks noticeably fat. Not my words, I am just relaying the message. Her fans have stayed true to her though and came to her defense against the people who were calling her fat. One fan wrote, this is actually so gross. She's finally at a healthy weight and suddenly Ariana Grande fat starts trending, disgusting. But this tweet itself is accusing her of being at an unhealthy weight before this photo even leaked, which isn't fair in my opinion. But some people cleared it up and said that she just looks healthy, she doesn't look underweight, and she doesn't look overweight. She's just healthy. But despite some people being passionate about the trending hashtag, other users just made jokes about it. One user wrote, fat or anorexic, she continues to increase her fortune, don't know, I forgot who she is. Again, people making jokes about eating disorders as if people don't actually struggle with this very serious illness. The whole thing could have just been the picture, you guys. She's wearing sweatpants, which we all know does not show our true figure, and her stomach is not bulging out at all all she's literally in the middle of a conversation like she could just be breathing like breathing out like just taking a breath and even if she did gain some weight she is beautiful and I don't think there's a need to point it out like this now this is a super touchy subject for me but what do you guys think about it share your thoughts down in the comments and while you are doing that I'm gonna shout out some comments from my last IO news story Justin Bieber suing TikTok star for Haley Baldwin plastic surgery claim Nia Ali says, if she's really all natural, why did she even respond that quick? I don't know if that's fair to say, because if I was all natural, which I am, but I'm saying if I was and people started accusing me of not being, I would probably defend myself quickly. X Dream X says, I feel bad for the doctor. He was just giving his opinion. You know, a lot of people were sticking up for the doctor in this one, which is interesting. Crazy Girl says, they are so overreacting. Facts. I mean, I feel like suing probably isn't like necessary, but I guess when you have that much money, it doesn't matter. Dynasty Wolf says, when your life is so boring, you sue people for their opinions. <laughs> this actually made me laugh out loud because the doctor said, like, this is just an opinion. Like, he's not saying it's facts. He did say it was just an opinion. Yeah, a little silly. Jeanette McCurdy, Ariana Grande, ding, ding, boom.
Not really. Jeanette just be jealous, and honestly, understandably so. We all feel that gentle kiss of jealousy from time to time, but let's talk about why Miss McCurdy was feeling the sting. In her new memoir, quote unquote, I'm glad my mom died, the ex-actress Jeanette McCurdy detailed exactly why and how she became jealous of her Sam and Cat co-star Ariana Grande during their time on the Nickelodeon sitcom. For a little background, McCurdy famously starred as Sam Puckett in iCarly, while Grande played Cat Valentine in Victorious. With the two being favorites from their respective shows, Nickelodeon let them reprise their roles in the spin-off Sam and Cat, which only ran for one season from 2013 to 2014. But that's not the only thing that Nickelodeon allowed. According to McCurdy, Ariana Grande was regularly allowed to miss filming for the show in order to fulfill other obligations in her music career, including singing at award shows, recording new songs, and doing press for her upcoming album. Yes, that may seem petty, but the problem wasn't that Ariana was allowed to miss filming, it was that when McCurdy had her own opportunities in her acting career, specifically two feature film roles when she was on iCarly, she was forced to turn them down as the writers could not write her out of the episodes to allow her to go film the movies. Which is totally unfair as for Sam and Kat, Ariana was allowed to spend the whole episode locked in a box so that she could go pursue her music career. Jeanette wrote in her book, quote, the week where I was told Ariana would not be here at all, and that they would write around her absence this episode by having her character be locked in a box, are you kidding me? So I have to turn down movies while Ariana's off whistle toning at the Billboard Music Awards? F this. End quote. As you can imagine, this led McCurdy to do a lot of comparing herself to her co-star. At a young age, that is not a healthy way to live. And Ariana wasn't too subtle at keeping her success too humble either, with Jeanette writing that she, quote, didn't exactly try to hide her successes. But then Jeanette spoke of the time that it all became too much. The time that Ariana came to set after hanging out at none other than Tom Hanks's house. Jeanette wrote, quote, Ariana came whistle toning in with excitement because she had spent the previous evening playing charades at Tom Hanks' house. That was the moment I broke. I couldn't take it anymore. Music performances and magazine covers, whatever, I'll get over it. But playing a family game at National Treasure, two time Academy Award winner, and six time nominee Tom Hanks's house? I'm done. She continued saying, quote, Pop star success I could handle, but hanging out with Sheriff Woody, with Forrest effing Gump, this has gone too far. So now every time she misses work, it feels like a personal attack. Every time something exciting happens to her, I feel like she robbed me of having that experience myself. And it's easy to see why she feels that way. If my co-star just went and hung out with Captain Phillips, I'd probably lose my mind too. But hey, now you know why Jeanette was jealous of Ariana. Have any thoughts? Well, you know what to do. Leave it in the comments. And hey, why not like and subscribe while you're here too? I sure appreciate it. For now, I've been your host, Adam Andrews. You can find me on the gram in the description below. This is Inform Overload, and uh, thanks for watching. Get set, because today we're actually going to take three stories and just wrap them up in a nice little package, tie a bow on them, and hand deliver them to you in one little video with my face on it. I'm Adam Andrews with Inform Overload, and let's jump on in. First things first, I don't know if any of you have seen this clip floating around TikTok, but back in 2020, Pete Davidson got a really good jab in on Ariana Grande in one of his live shows, and for some reason, it's gaining traction almost three years later. So, back in 2020, Pete had his Netflix special, Pete Davidson Alive from New York. And during the special, he spoke about comments his ex, Ariana Grande, made in a 2019 Vogue interview. Now, during the interview, she said, quote, I met Pete and it was an amazing distraction. It was frivolous and fun and insane and highly unrealistic, and I loved him, and I didn't know him. The two started dating in May of 2018, and kind of prematurely, in my opinion, opinion had a five month long engagement. Obviously, they broke up. Now Pete didn't mention it much, but after hearing about the things she said to Vogue from a friend of his, he decided a clap back was in order. Obviously, it's way funnier coming out of the man himself, so go watch the clip if you haven't, but this is how it went. Pete said, quote, so now I just think it's like fair game, and you're like, Pete this isn't fair, you're like airing out your dirty laundry, how could you do that? Why did she say this stuff? To her friends in the confidence of her own home? No, she said it on the cover of 
Vogue magazine. Can you imagine if I did that? My career would be over tomorrow. If I spray painted myself brown and hopped on the cover of Vogue magazine and just started shitting on my ex. Now you probably know about this too, but Pete is referencing the fact that Vogue and Ariana Grande came under scrutiny for seemingly darkening her skin by a significant amount for the cover of the magazine. The flabbergasted reactions from the crowd made the joke just that much better, as I don't believe they were expecting such a ruthless joke from the comedian. It did get a bit of a chuckle out of me, I'm not gonna lie, and Pete made sure to reiterate that it was just a joke. But you could tell there was this like slight stinging feeling underneath, and honestly, yeah, I'd be, I'd be bothered if my ex said that about me too. But hey, it's kind of old news now, the clip itself has been circulating on TikTok. I actually just saw it last night for the first time. Did you see the clip? Alright, for our second story, we're talking about an article by the Washington Post that came out yesterday, December 6th, and it's all about the Prince Harry and Meghan Markle docuseries that seeks to explain their split from the rest of the royal family from their own perspective. In the USA, where they now live, the couple are actually pretty well received and well liked, but this isn't necessarily the case back in the UK. Obviously, in the UK, there is a bigger showing of support for the royal family itself. Not unanimously or anything, but they definitely have a bigger fan base, which means that many people, including tabloids and members of the press, had a rather unsavory view of the couple. For example, Pierce Morgan, a longtime critic of Meghan, wrote on Monday, another day, another nauseatingly self-serving whiny trailer from the royal renegades Meghan and Harry for their upcoming Netflix trash-a-thon of their own family. Essentially, the article from the Washington Post is all about the docu-series and most of the efforts of Meghan and Harry seemingly trying to gain control of their own narrative. Now this kind of thing is actually pretty commonplace for the royal family. Controlling the narrative that is put out about them, whether it's interviews with sympathetic reporters, cooperating on biographies, and just having a firm grip on what their image is exactly. So it just seems that in an effort to rally their own supporters and to not be smeared by the royal family itself, they're just taking on new means to tell their own story. And it's not like this docuseries is the first time it's happened. At first, it was just about building their social media presence, but they have been doing podcasts, TV interviews like the one with Oprah, and they also have pursued lawsuits against British tabloids. It's smart, and they have honestly garnered a lot of support. If you watch interviews, particularly with younger Brits, the royal family itself is isn't exactly the most popular. This docuseries is being put up in part thanks to the couple's very own production company, and they are supplying never before seen footage and pictures. So of course they do have some control over what is being said here. But some people are set on poking holes in the couple's story, calling out pictures that were featured in the trailer for the series about the truth and their relationship that were taken before the relationship even began. And a lot of tabloids have put out headlines that honestly seem kind of petty and but hurt. The Times of London ran a front page headline on Tuesday that said, Prince Harry and Meghan have declared all out war against the royal family. Another started their article with, quote, quick nurse past the sick bag, the wokest couple in all the West is at it again. I don't know, it just seems just like a, a little bit petty to me. It's just a little bit out of pocket and kind of not necessary. Like you could just tell the truth, that's kind of the job, but hey, I work here. Honestly, this is what all members of the royal family do. It's all about image and public perception and efforts to control it. And that's been true for members of not just this royal family, but pretty much every royal family ever. The game of narrative control is their bread and butter, but we can only know exactly what Harry and Meghan say is when the first three episodes of the docuseries come out on Netflix December 8th. And lastly for our video today, the Netflix hit show Wednesday is getting some backlash of its own. Reviews for the show that dropped November 23rd have been pretty positive, and mainly that's attributed to Jenna Ortega's performance as Wednesday Adams. It's also breaking records for the most watched TV show on Netflix in a single week, totaling 341.2 million hours, which beat up the previous record holder Stranger Things. But with the good, there is also the bad, and the show has been receiving a few negative reviews from critics and some on social media. The series and its executive producer Tim Burton are being accused mainly of racism. After it was noted that the few black actors that are actually in the show have been cast as only villains or bullies. All three of the show's main and recurring black actors, Joy Sunday, Iman Marson, and Tommy Earl Jenkins, have been cast as antagonistic characters with Jenkins and Marson playing the father.
father-son duo of Noble, a bully, and Lucas Walker, the incredibly shady and somewhat corrupt mayor of the town. And Joy Sunday is playing Bianca, the top popular mean girl student at Nevermore and a siren who uses her powers to get into Nevermore in the first place. On top of that, Lucas and Noble own a theme park and museum dedicated to the memory of pilgrims and colonizers. And that was also pointed out in the arguments against the show, with some claiming it to be ridiculous and nonsensical to have a black mayor praising genocidal colonizers and pilgrims. Some have said that the series creators, Alfred Goh and Miles Miller, seem to have wrote the characters as if they were white, but then placed black actors in the roles with no thought as to how their race might have impacted their beliefs and values. Obviously, these negative reviews have caused some bickering and controversy online. Obviously, casting a person of color as an antagonist is not itself racist, and the characters, particularly Bianca, do have more significant layers to them and growth in the show's storyline. But then again, Tim Burton himself has had a bit of history with racism, being accused of rarely ever casting minorities in his films in this first place. And the few times he has, they were also pretty much all cast as antagonistic roles. But but really, the final say is up to the people. That's you guys. And we here at Inform Overload would love to hear what exactly your opinion on this is down in the comments below. Actually, let's talk about everything down there. Did you find Pete Davidson's jokes funny? How did you feel about Harry, Meghan, and the royal family? Do you care about any of this at all? A lot of Ariana Grande fans were upset to learn that she would not be attending the 2022 Grammys. Apparently, the prospect of winning three Grammy Awards just wasn't enough to get her to come to this year's ceremony. The two-time winner shocked fans just hours before the event started when she announced that she would be skipping the 64th annual Grammy Awards. But stick around to find out why. After she announced she was going to be missing the event this year, her name immediately became a trending topic on Twitter, with thousands of fans expressing how heartbroken they were and sharing their disappointment. This year, she is not for her song and album both titled Positions, as well as her feature on Doja Cat's album called Planet Her. Writing on Instagram, she addressed the nominations and said that she and all the other nominees have already won. Along with the announcement, she also shared 10 short videos from the production of her album. The clips featured Ariana in the studio, live musicians recording the songs, and a lot of behind the scenes shots as well from her music videos. In her Instagram caption, she writes, Some Positions memories to celebrate Grammy Day. Reflecting on an incredible process with so many creatives that I love and respect so deeply. I love this album, so it's an honor to be recognized today alongside so many brilliant musicians and human beings that I love. To have each other, to have the gifts that we have, to share and feel heard is not something to take for granted, we've already won. Have a beautiful time, I am celebrating all of you there today. And one of the top comments was Ariana's mother who said, Ariana, brava, your brilliance in music is only surpassed by the brilliance you have in your heart. I am so proud of you all the time, I love you. In 2019, Grande actually skipped the Grammys after a disagreement over her scheduled performance. You see, she wanted to perform Seven Rings, but show producers reportedly wouldn't let her. They tried to compromise by allowing her to perform the song as part of a bigger medley. However, she decided to drop out entirely. Although it's unclear why she decided not to attend this year's show, regardless, here's hoping that she wins some awards and is able to celebrate at home with her husband and her dogs.